Hi, everybody. I think it's recording. Okay, so Happy New Year. It is 2013, and welcome. My name is Sarah Humphreys. For those of you who have not watched my reviews before, I am an author and an avid reader of romance, as well as a mother, a wife, and a lover of chocolate, which is why I have to work out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I hope everybody had a great holiday season, Christmas, Hanukkah, what your pleasure, whatever it is, and of course, New Year's. Uh, so I read, right before the end of 2012, I read a really cool book called The Taker. Whoops, there it is, uh, by Alma Katsu. Now, I had the pleasure of meeting Alma at a <laughs> Connecticut RWA meeting a while back, actually, and I've just been super busy with kids and deadlines and, you know, all the stuff that most people deal with, life. Uh, but when I finally got around to reading it, I was really overwhelmed, actually. Uh, it wasn't what I expected. I really enjoyed it. It was, first of all, it's beautifully written. I mean, it really, really is an incredibly beautifully well-written novel. And Alma, it does a gorgeous job of setting the scene. It's very unusual in a couple of ways. First of all, it bounces between times. So... You have present day, and then you hear about the past, because we have our hero and our heroine. We have Luke, who's a doctor, uh, and we have Lenore, and she basically shows up in the ER one day when he's working and is being brought in by the cops because she's accused of murder. And uh, she is an immortal, but she's not a vampire. Now, it's, re it's a very difficult book to categorize. There is There are strong romantic elements. I mean, there's a romance there. Uh, but there's also, it, when you hear about Lenore's story and you go back to how she became immortal, it, there are parts of it that are brutal. I mean, I, that's kind of what I wasn't prepared for. I wasn't prepared for the parts of the story of the really the abuse that she suffered and some of the really horrific stuff she went through. Uh, but it is integral to the story and integral to her as a, how she is now. So it's not gratuitous in any way. Um, but it was kind of a little startling. I wasn't really expecting it. But it's a really unusual story, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It sucked me right in from the beginning. So if you like kind of paranormal mystical, then I would definitely, with some, uh, and but you like historicals. I mean, you really can't pigeonhole this book. It's not really contemporary. It's not really historical. I mean, it's paranormal, but it's not like werewolves and vampires. So it's really different. So you're really looking for a different, riveting, uh, sometimes a little disturbing but really just gripping story, then this book, you should absolutely pick it up. It's called The Taker, and I cannot wait to read the next one, which is, I believe, is The Reckoning. And I will say, when I got to the last line, I was like, ooh, it was one, it was one of those, like, oh my god. So um, I, I really encourage you to pick it up. It's it, But be prepared, because it's not a traditional romance where there's really not a lot of, like, nasty stuff happening. There is some kind of not pleasant things that go on, especially when you hear about where she started. But um, it's only moments, and the whole book is really beautifully written, and the characters are strong, and I, I, I encourage you to check it out. So definitely check out The Taker by Alma Katsu. It is super fab, and I cannot wait to read the next one. And uh, that's it. And that's just my opinion. You know what they say about opinions? They're like assholes. Everybody has them, and some of them stink. So uh, that was my opinion. I, I enjoyed it, so I hope you'll check it out if you're looking for something different. Uh, and that's it, kids. Have a wonderful January, and I'll see you again in February for my next review. Have a great one. Bye.